everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Amnesia The Dark Descent. I was checking out this other tunnel and it is blocked by rocks, so the right path is the right path. Yeah, you know what I mean. Right path is the right path. And this rock is in the way. I can't get out. I don't like the look of this place. Kitchen. I don't want to go into the kitchen of this place. Storage. Okay, we'll go this way first. Shh. Quiet. Shh. Quiet. Shush! Cell three. Nope. 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 Let's go look in the kitchen first. Nope. 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 Oh. 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 What? No. What? Never mind about going in the kitchen. I don't want to go in the kitchen because Gordon Ramsay just went that way. No, I'm kidding. I like Gordon Ramsay. Rachel Bla Ray just went that way. Um, that, oh no! No, 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 I didn't look at him! I'm not here! Oh my god. He can't fit in here, can he? Please say he's too big to fit in here. Please say he's too big to fit in here. Is he too big to fit in here? Go away, you. Oh my god. Go away, you leather headed freak! Oh my god. I. I what do I do? I just wanted to go in the kitchen and cook. Where'd he go? No, 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 you come back here. Oh shit, oh my god, ah! No. Go away, I'll cook you something in the kitchen if you leave me alone. What do I do? Oh, you're a butthole. Does he just wander right there like an ass master? <sighs> Th this the whole night is just ridiculous. Well, I, I, I don't understand. How did the mom know this tunnel was here? And how did she even know it was go somewhere? What happens if it just went to nothing? And the girl got stuck down there. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. He's there. Go away. Damn it. I should have just kept going straight. But no, I had to turn around, and now I'm stuck in this hole. Chip this away, Daniel. <sighs> You're a dip. You're a dippity do. Go away! Where is he? Damn it! <laughs> I don't want to go out there. <laughs> oh. Where'd he go? Come back here, I dare you. Do it. Do it. <clears throat> He's like, oh, you hit me with a rock, I'll go away. <laughs> oh my god, that is so gross. Nope. Maybe I, I can make it if I run. Do you guys think I can make it? Think I can make it or should I just go to the cell blocks? I wanna go in the kitchen, damn it! What am I supposed to be even doing? I don't even have like an objective right now. Dang it! My current objective is to not die by this hideous thing. Oh, 
this is terrible. Okay, he's going. Damn it. My ability to throw rocks sucks. Is there a tiny rock? No. Go away! Sit here and watch 15 minutes of me hiding in a hole. He's literally just walking back and forth right here. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, you didn't see me! God, I'm, I'm not even in your sight. Cauliflower! Broccoli! Snow pea! Carrot! This is me trying to censor myself by yelling out random vegetables. Cherry tomato! And fruits, like plantain! Strawberry. Asparagus. Where'd he even go? I don't even know which way he went, because I wasn't looking. <sighs> I've been sitting in this hole for about Three minutes now. Two minutes. We should have to make a run for it, aren't we? Okay, he's down there. Leaving. Bye. Storage. What's over here? Ah, oh, there's too many places to go. I don't like the look of that area. Nope. Oh my god, bug, get off my face! I hate you. Ah! No! Memory? Hey! Anybody! Help! Christ! I don't believe this! What did I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. Why did he have to go in there? He don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. What? Who went into a burning house? Is there anything in here except the tender box and a random memory? No. Oh, there's a dead body. And a bucket. Come here, bucket. Oh, there's two buckets in here. I guess I didn't need the other one. Oh, oil. Oil, my friend. That's it. And there's a dead body. Buddy, you okay? No. Note. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Mühle, the village's only inn, and am now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep. But as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. 
My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. There's a lot of other people dead because of you, but we're not gonna go into that. Um, nope. Well, damn it. The Outer Rider! Anyway. Time to go into that creepy room that I didn't want to go into. I mean, these all these rooms are creepy rooms, so... No. <laughs> I see his head. What do I do now? Oh, this is a moldy loaf of bread. I thought this was a brick. Nope. Bad piece of bread. Why can't I pick up the table? Damn it. <laughs> Everywhere I go, he finds me. I'll throw bread at him. Where'd that butthole go? He went this way, didn't he? Because I wanted to go this way. No, don't kill her. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Oh my god, this place is huge. Shh, go! Get in the room, you dip! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard a noise. Okay, we have time. August 1839. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron, is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot, and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. Cool beans, dude, and my foot is asleep. Damn it. He escaped? Where is he now? Who's he? I thought, I thought, I thought, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, why am I freaking out? I don't know, oh no, oh no, oh no, go stand by the candle. Oh no, oh no. <sighs> nope, uh uh, no, um, no, no, we're, we're gonna stay right here. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Nope, nope, nope. Uh. Oh. Every time I find a note, every time I turn around after I read said note, what happens? I run into one of those stupid heads. Huh. Okay. Well, that that's my timer.
so I'm gonna pause it here. Um, thanks for tuning in to this episode of Let's Play Amnesia: The Dark Descent with me, the Forte Seven, and I will see you in the next part. Bye, guys.